Hi everyone, so I recently picked up the We Are Memory Keepers Photo Sleeve Fuse tool. Um, it's been out for a good long while. I just never really thought I needed it, but I do want to make more shakers and things like that, so I'm going to try this out today. Um, if, you know, I have it linked in the description box, those will be with under my affiliate links, which means I'll make a small commission if you purchase items to those links. And I get this question every day, all the time, emails <laughs> about different things. The description box is under the... Um, title here. You can either click on the title of the video down here. I'm not talking about the video title like the beginning of the video. I'm talking about on YouTube it says this is the video's title, right? It'll expand that box. So um, anytime anybody has info, it's there. Um, and I suppose it depends on how you're watching, but it always will expand. Um, maybe not if you're watching on TV. I don't know that part. I haven't watched YouTube on TV because my kids find that out. It'll be the end of my TV, you know. So anyway, um, so I'm going to use that today. So it does say photo sleeve fuse. Obviously they want you to use it with their um, system kind of stuff. But it's basically a heat a tool that heats up. Um, this one makes like little dotted closure. And then this one, it'll be interesting to see. So it could melt things together to like fuse it closed. But really that's to cut a slit. So like let's say you're using that system like Project Live or whatever We Remember Keepers has. And you want to make like a little slit and something, you can do that so you can bring things in and out. I don't know. Um, funny enough, I do have like Project Life stuff. I think I have some sleeves. I think I even have some from close to my heart, but I don't know where they are right now. I didn't spend the time looking for them. I wanted to use um, pocket protectors, page protectors, because of course everybody wants to know if page protectors work. You know, this thing's been out for a while, and I'm sure people have used it on page protectors. Like, um, there's different quality ones, of course. <laughs> and I have tons of them. I went out to the garage to look for them, but I think what happened is I gave them to my to my sisters, <laughs> to my daughter's school, uh, to her teacher, because they use page protectors all the time when they use them as, like, dry erase boards. They just put a piece of paper in there, and then the kids use it, and it works, you know? Um, and they were going to get more use than I did, so I think I gave them away, to be honest, because I found the spot exactly where they were with some back-to-school supplies, and they are not there. So I'm like, I don't think I took them out. And there were a lot of them. So I may run out and grab some more. I really don't want to, but I'm going to do the intro, and then I have to go take Miranda to school anyway, so I might stop in and grab some. We'll see. And that would be at the Dollar Tree, and of course those are like inexpensive, thinner kind of page protectors. But we have the tool. Of course, you're going to place the head that you want. It heats up. It has a ruler and it has like a little um, holder. I'm just going to bring out my silicone mat because I feel like that pressure that is going to push down to a silicone mat will give you a better seal. Also to protect my surface here. Um, and so that's that. <laughs> I do have a few things that I want to try out first anyway. I just grabbed one of these little bags and this is just like a jewelry bag. I'll probably, hey, we'll seal that off. I'll say that sticker doesn't want to come off. Now, this one's beat up. Obviously, I've used it. If it was brand new, it would look nice and crisp. You know, this has, like, lines in it. Uh, we'll seal one of these and see how that goes. This kind of plastic is definitely the kind that melts. I don't know how to explain that. And then this is just old packaging from, like, a stamp set or whatever. So, as you can see, there's even a hole here. So, we can try sealing this just to see if we can use it. Um, you know, we'll see. These are stamp um and dye bags that i always have linked in the description box these are the ones that i've just had like typical they're inexpensive pockets and these are thicker and they feel really nice so i thought well maybe we should try these guys um and i want to make like a shaker pocket see this thing i guess i would still need to get like something larger like this will work in my um i want to make a shaker pocket for my uh traveler's notebook but you know what i still have this little guy here because i haven't used it yet Maybe I make one for him. Still a little short, you know? And then you can just score it. Hmm. Maybe we'll do that too. Okay. So, um, like I said, I gotta go take Miranda to school, so I'm not gonna plug this in quite yet. But let me open this up. Let's see, it looks like it's pretty easy to open, thank goodness. Um, what is really cool about this though, like you said, you can make like waterfall sleeves or whatever with the photos because you just seal it on. Um, you know, we'll see how it goes. <laughs> Apparently the first iteration of these, like We Are Memory Keepers always does, it seems, was not great. Uh, they work out the kinks and then people buy it again or whatever. Um, some people say call them anyway if you have a first iteration and be like, hey, what can they do to help you know fix that? Um, so we have these guys. I'm definitely going to use the little dotty one first. Let's get this out. Obviously, you have a nice cord. Oh! We have this guy that 
I already bent coming out of the package because the way it was there. That's not great. Has little rubber grips on the back. That, okay. I thought this would be harder, I guess. Um, and the package kind of had it in there, like you had to pull it. So just be careful to kind of pull it out this way, I guess. This guy. And the little tools. The heads. They do have other heads you can pick up, of course. All that kind of jazz. I'm just going to take this guy and screw it in. And if you're in the middle of the project and it's hot, you might want to wear some like oven gloves or a mitt or something or something silicone that you can put in your hand, you know, like just a silicone mat and just take it off and then put the new one on, whatever you want to use. Um, unless you want to let the whole thing completely cool off. But what I'm going to do is put these things away out of the way and bring out my silicone mat. And in I'll the meantime, back. I did stop in at the Dollar Tree and I grabbed some protectors. I'll grab them from the bag in just a moment. But for now, what I'm going to do is plug this in, get it warmed up. It says on both ways if you're just sealing something or if you want to cut a hole or a slit. You're going to want to warm this up for 10 minutes there. So um, at least 10 minutes and people have said like 20, you know. <laughs> Whatever. Just really good and hot. Uh, I'll probably start with like the thinnest weight stuff, which is probably the stuff from the Dollar Tree, not going to lie. They didn't, sometimes they, in the past, they had better quality um, page protectors, but less of them, right? So you get fewer of them, but they're thicker. But right now they only have the Jot 16 pack, so, or whatever it is. So I'm going to plug that in. I don't know that I need to put it on here. And I did say that I was going to... Uh, if that even works. Eh, we'll see. Um, either way, I'll either set it on here or I won't. <laughs> but I am going to plug it in, okay? So, so all it. I do is plug it in. And it actually fits better this way than this way, the way I had it earlier. So there's that. I felt some heat coming off it pretty quick. I'm not going to touch that. So I retightened it. Again, this one, I think it depends on how you use it. But definitely it'll cut a slit for you. But I think if you leave it there for a while, you might even be able to make like a hole in something if you wanted that or different things. But we'll see. Um, so... I said I was probably going to start with this dollar store stuff, which is this, um, the pocket protectors. I just picked up page protect, sheet protectors, is what it says. Um, again, these, if you look at them up close, I'm trying, of course I pulled it out without really opening things, so it got a little messed up. It has like a speckle look to it, which is not great. And on the back side, you can feel it. On this side, you can actually feel that texture, which is interesting. Um, yeah, it's on the back side of the plastic. Now these sometimes aren't even that great already. They're usually want to fall apart sometimes, but we'll do that in just a minute. So I guess I'm going to start with just the plastic again. This is just like obviously packaging and we'll try to repurpose it, I guess, or just try it out just to see what's going on, what happens with this. So let's take this guy and it says to go swiftly. Most people say to take your time so you're really sealing it, but I'm going to put this on here. There's a hole right there that I definitely want to get rid of. There's like a little hole. So I'm just I'm going to put that there. I think I'm going to follow this line here. Actually, you're supposed to use this thing, but, well, let's try it. Let's try it the way they say. I am seeing this white strip here, and I'm going to follow that. I hope. <laughs> and I don't know if it says to pull towards you or not or what you want to do, but let's just take this guy. You know, I'm going to have to redo where this is at because of this cord being right in front of me. But I'm going to start down here. Hopefully you can kind of see where I'm at. I just place it and I'm going to follow and I'm just putting some firm pressure. Oh, it's not rolling anymore. That's interesting. Okay, I'm going to try from this way down. I do not like that. That's weird. It's not rolling. It's just touching. Let's see what happened. You know what I'm saying? This thing, I'll do with my nail. That should rotate. And it was not doing that. So let's pick this up and see what happened. Hmm. That's interesting. So when it first started off, it was rolling. And I'll show you what that looks like. I just want to see if it actually sealed or not. Nope. Totally open there. Where I did the dotting, it did close up though. See, this area where it was rolling and that area did not. I don't know if it's catching on that thing. I'm going to turn this over and go from the other side and I feel like it's catching in here or something especially maybe because it got bent I don't know but I'm gonna put this on the side of it and I'm gonna run down the side and see if that gives me any better and I'll still go up this way okay now it's roll. no it stopped rolling uh, okay so now I don't even care it might be because of this thing being like plastic plastic you know what I'm saying a different kind of plastic so it's just like sliding across 
we will see if that's sealed at all. Uh, nope, everywhere it does the little dot dot dots, it does seal, but after that it doesn't. Let me try over here and see what's going on. Yeah, it might be that this stuff is too... That's so weird. Look how easily it rolls, but on here it's like, no. Nope. Okay, let's try it again. Let me see if... I put something with more tooth under it. Maybe the silicone mat's not helping. Uh, again, it's just sliding more than anything. Okay, so I might not work with this. At least, not right now. I'm not even going to mess with that. That's odd. Let's try it again. Yep, it's not rolling. Okay. So that was not great. Again, that's just plastic packaging. It's so weird. You can feel it and it feels okay. I'm sure after a while, maybe I can get more practice and it'll be fine. Um, hmm. I kind of wanted to wait for this till the end, but I have plenty of them I can waste. It's fine. So let's pretend... It's so thin, you know. This is not what I would want for my traveler's notebook. But let's just pretend we're going to make some little pouch. I guess. And we can start out here. I'm just eyeballing this. I don't really care. Um... Let's say, let's go up this line here, and let's see how we do. Again, I'm starting here. Oh, okay, this time it is rolling the way it's supposed to. I might be going a little slower than I need to, but I'm pushing away from myself, and it is rolling again. The other one might have been too slick. I don't know. Okay, so there's that. Ooh, let's go over here. I feel like it might just come apart. Um, gonna go down here. It's not very straight. Okay. And again, it kind of went through and wanted to melt, as you can see. I think depending on what you want to use this for, it could be okay or it could be a problem, right? Um, it is sealed though. I want to say it's probably going to be open right here in this area. I did get stuck there, so maybe it's possible that that just was a little too much heat, right, for that. Maybe I'm going to a little too slow for this thing. Um, honestly, I don't even know what I want to do with this. Um, <laughs> let's, let's seal up the edges, because I don't like that that looks different from the other side. So let's just pretend we want to make it look the same. So I'm just going to bring this over here. And hopefully I get a better go with the thicker plastic items. Again, I'm going to try to go a little faster this time. Still applying a good amount of pressure, but you can see I'm moving a little bit faster, right? Around the edge looks the same. And yeah, that's better. It didn't completely come apart. Like over here, you know? I can put my nail through there. We're going to cut it away anyway, but I just don't know if that means it's sealed on that very edge. It might still just open up there. So, with this plastic being very thin, I would say go a little faster. Now, it did want to come apart here. I think I went off the edge and dragged it a little bit there. But it's sealed. You know, this would be cute if you are going to put like some little treats or maybe some die cuts, you know. Um, just something that you're going to quickly kind of use there. Uh, let me cut this with scissors. So it's like we made a little pocket. Just cutting close to the that seam that we just created. And let's just, I'm just going to cut it. So let's see how that would be. Again, the bottom one almost looks the same. It does have its own little dashes. So I'm just going to leave that. I just didn't like having one edge that looks crazy and the other one like fine hmm. I'm trying to get into that bottom area to see if it's it seems to be closed even there so okay and let's say I had brought out some treats but honestly I'm probably not gonna use them but let's say you just want to put a little topper you made your own little bag and I brought some Tootsie Rolls I just bought the other day let's say you fill it up here and you put a topper on it or you can oh see now it was hot Roll it over and then put the topper on it. Yeah. So we have a little bag. 
I don't know that I like this for shaker material, to be honest. We'll see. If I get the... I know at Walmart I had bought some that were smooth, which I don't know if that's good or not. It's more like this material, right? Like thicker. So hopefully that'll work out. Okay, the next thing that's cheap. And again, you can keep, you know, seal this edge up and make more bags or whatever. So, and then seal the bottom edge or whatever. Not great, but it's okay. Okay. Let's see, this guy. Um, he's already sealed up, so, you know, I don't know. And honestly, I don't know what I was going to do with that. I grabbed some papers because I thought, oh, this has, like, tags in it. That'd be cute to make, like, a little shaker, you know, with something cute in it. But the way the sticker's on here, I couldn't get it off. It's not going to quite fit. So I do have this little extra piece of paper here, though. So what if we make our own little thing that'll hold this? So let me cut this down to, like, about here. Maybe here. And whatever size that is, and we'll make this fit around that. Okay, I'll okay. be right back. So again, this is just an inexpensive like jewelry bag. And of course, it's a bag already, so it's nice. But if you're gonna make a shaker and if you don't want to cover it, I mean, that's why you would use a tool like this. So the bottom is nice. I mean, I'm gonna have to go up the side up here. So I think I'm gonna do is just do this the bottom anyway, just that they all look the same. I move this over a little bit. I'm going to seal this up. I'm going to actually close this for right now. And then um, when it's open on the top still, I'll drop in some um, shaker stuff, which is really just this little ornament filler that I picked up recently at the Dollar Tree. So I'll put some of those in. So where's my ruler? Again, I'm eyeballing this completely. Ooh, a little bit lower because I just want that bottom part. Okay. So I'm just going to run this right by the paper, and we will see what happens. Again, this is awkward because this... Let me bring this around this other way. Sorry, guys. Mm. Not great. This uh, cord is not that long. Okay. This is comfortable, though, but the cord itself is like, ugh, what are you doing? Okay, let's do this again. And I'm going a little bit fast. That really melted. Oh my gosh. I don't know if we're going to be able to shake her this, but look how that's super duper melted right there. Again, this is super hot right now, so I can see why that would happen. Okay, so let's do this right here. And again, I'm going to try to go a little bit faster then just because. Yes, that's so much better. Look at that. I went fast and it did great. So interesting. It's just, you know, whatever you have at the house that you want to seal up, you're just going to have to try it out. Because um, I do remember back in the day, people were like, just take your time, go slow, so it does a really good seal. But, like, if I went any slower, <laughs> it did this, you know? So, not great. Okay. I am actually just going to cut this top bit off right now, even though... It's weird. I'm just trying to get rid of that paper. Hopefully I can take this little last bit off there. And we'll file. We'll file it. <laughs> We're not gonna file it. We're gonna cut that off later. So I want to see how open or closed that is. I guess we'll find out soon, huh? Doesn't look great, but that's okay. Okay. So let me take some of this. Just drop a couple bits in there. Just a few, because again, I don't know what I'm gonna do with this anyway. Put two in front of the back. Put your little journaling, whatever's you want to put on there. I'm so sorry. You know, I'm always double duty. I have the dryer going off back there. Okay, let's do this again kind of quickly. I think that was the best bet. Let me go turn off the dryer and I'll be right back to clean this up. Okay, so this thing's nice and hot. I just left it on my silicone mat, which is fine. Um, okay, so let's just trim that away with a little excess. I'm getting pretty close to this stitching, if you will. Um, but obviously you don't want to cut on it because then you're going to cut it away. This part, you know, it, it's wonkiness, so I'm just going to leave it. Um, that worked pretty well. Again, that was just a little jewelry bag. It's not as shiny. I guess it depends on the quality, too, of the jewelry bags that you have. So I was going to say, uh, you know, you can put depending on what you popped in here so these are really big kind of um 
glitter bits, spangles. Um, you can then take your punch if you wanted to and still make like, like a little tag, right? Because they're not going to come out of that hole anyway. And then if I have some ribbon or something, I would just stick it there. So I'll do that for the images and just pop it in there or twine or whatever. Something cute, right? If you wanted to. Um, let's see. I'm nervous to use this stuff. I don't know what to do with it, and I don't want to just ruin it. You know what I mean? Because these um, are inexpensive, but they feel really nice, so I don't want to mess it up. Um, again, I really want to, if I'm going to use this, well, maybe, you know what? Okay, maybe I will put this in this guy. And how wide did I make this? Was it four inches wide? Oh, it's three and a half, yeah. So it's a little pocket, guys. So maybe three and a quarter. So maybe at three and a quarter inches in. I'll use this guy. So I'm gonna put some cute stuff in here. Uh, let me get a little glitter mix, a little mix of something, and I'll put it in here. I'll wear it back. It's actually Valentine sequins, but the colors go so well with that candy Christmas. Oh, great! Yay! <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is just pour some in. Oh my gosh! Even if you wanted to put in like, I don't want to go too wild, but that was kind of a lot. Um, yeah, it's too much some like little characters or die cuts right that'd be cute let me think do I have die cuts that I can cut real quick that's good that's a good amount let me put these things back and think about if I have some little die cut I can pop in here maybe from a swap or something that has to do with like Christmas I'll be right back these things just keep falling out of the bag so I'm like whatever I'll deal with them later so I went over and opened up this you guys remember when we made these to hold our swaps and of course I have tons because people are very generous and sent some just for me on top of the swap and I pulled out this one because it looks kind of like the same colors that was going on with my little um, uh, traveler's uh, notebook over there so I opened it up and I'm like oh I hope I can tell who this is from so this was actually might have been in my group if she hadn't sent it separately uh, from Diana Jackman oh I hope you enjoy your swap so she's probably in my group so cute and actually I'll take this little guy <laughs> put it over here so I can use that and um, just quickly I kind of looked through here and I thought oh this would be cute like a little tag I can pop in there but then she has this one not a creature with stirring not even a mouse which is very cute just I don't know we're gonna use that one so thank you Diana so cute uh, okay so I'm just gonna pop this in here too so I can float around in there and supposedly I was going to score this at three and a quarter, right? Or seal it. So let's... One, two, three. Okay, one, two, three. And a quarter-ish. Three and a half would be okay, but let's just go with three and a quarter, which is right here. And I'm going to seal that in, and we'll see what happens. Sorry, I knocked things over, so I have to edit that. And this cord is like... Ah, it's kind of annoying. Not going to lie. Okay. It's very stiff, you know? So, okay. So three and a quarter, and here we go. And I'm just... Gonna run along. See how that did. Ooh, I missed a little spot on top. That looks pretty good. How cute. Um, I am going to run it across the back. Although that looks sealed, but I know I just missed a spot right there. So I'm gonna turn this over. I'm gonna put this right on that white line and I'll say this is where I'll be. And I'm just turning it over just to give myself a different spot to try this, but I have a bunch of sequins under there, so I'm just going to kind of hold this up. And again, let's just go. I did that pretty fast. You guys, I like it on this. I was going to say, I'm sure on the higher quality, like thicker plastics, it was better. Oh my goodness. And I just realized something. I put this facing me, so when I put it in my book, it's going to be like this, with the white facing out. <laughs> Otherwise, it'll be upside down. Um, it could go in the back, I guess, but that doesn't make sense either. Oh, well. All right, we live and learn, guys. Um, okay, what else am I going to do? I guess cut this off on the other side. Now, if I wanted to, I could add something else on this side. Hmm. We can still shake her this, but what, my idea, what I was thinking is I would leave this side just open and it can hold things. I mean, it's going to hold things in a sideways way, or we seal that and then we open the top. <gasps> Should we do that? The only thing is, okay, all right, let's be smart. Okay, 
So if I'm going to seal this at three and a quarter, I'm going to seal this side. No, but first I need to put a piece of paper in there. Okay, let's think about this. Three and a quarter, one, two, three and a quarter. It needs to be smaller than this. Let me cut this down. I just need a scrap piece of paper that will help me be in there so when I cut it open with this guy, you're not just sealing it because if you have the plastic and plastic, you're going to either stick it or, or go through both pieces, right? And also we can just cut that top away and make a pocket. But we want to use this, don't we? So, let me uh, trim this piece of paper down a little bit and I'll be right back. I can just cut that top part off. But for right now, this is just a little smaller than three and a quarter. I'm going to put it right to the top there. Doesn't make a lot of sense, but that's okay. All right, so there's that. One, two, three and a quarter. Should be like right here. We're going to try to seal this so the side seals up. Again, kind of fast. We don't want to melt the plastic. Ugh. It did that thing where it kind of slipped there. Right here. It just... It did seal, though. That's interesting. It's very flat, but it did seal. Like, I can't really open it. Anyway, we'll turn this over and go on the other side. There we go. Go up the side again, kind of slowly. I don't know why in this area it it keeps wanting to just glide. There. That one little bit just kept gliding, gliding. Okay. So now we have this. So I'm going to trim this away just because I know I don't need that. Um, again, that edge does look different from the other edge. If that bothers you, what I would do is I'd come in and seal this edge. For me, I thought, okay, this is going to be in the middle of the book. No one's going to see that anyway. Um, such a bummer that I did that wrong. So maybe, I don't know. It's okay. Think about where this is going to be facing and which way you want your die cuts. Um, this guy. Okay. So, um, I'm just going to use a paper towel and if it gets too hot, I'm just going to hold this. Yep, I don't even feel it. So that's fine. Oop, now I felt it. <laughs> now I felt it. Again, you can turn it off. Whatever it is that you want. I'm just going to be a naughty naughty and do it this way. And then this one until it... it's getting hot already, so that's good. Okay. I'm going to let that sit for a couple minutes just because I just switched out. And then supposedly we can take that and on the little paper, I'm going to butt my paper up as much as I can without making a huge damage. And kind of come in here and cut a little slit in the plastic. But again, if you really want to, you can just cut it and be done. Or maybe I can put the slit a little further down. Just to so pocket the slits down here. Let's do that. I'll put the slit like here. Uh, the whole point was to get this paper out, but what I'll do is I'll push it down and then take it out. Because I don't need to keep the paper there. Now you could have put a whole paper in there that looks really cute and it's just sealed in. Um, lots of things. Let's see if we can practice a little bit with this. It's hot enough already. Hmm. I don't think it is. Let me see. Ooh, look at that. That's what I was saying. Ooh, we can make holes with this, guys. Really nice. Look at Just goes right through. Oh, there's got to be fun ways to figure, to do some things with that, right? I'm going to wipe that off, it looks like. Okay, well, let's try it. I guess it's going to be, like, down here. I'm just going to start there, and then they said swiftly, and I'm pulling this towards me. I don't know why it feels nicer and easier to do it that way. I don't know that I'll be able to get that piece of paper out. <laughs> but we'll see. Uh, again, for me, that sealed <laughs> more than it cut a hole. So I guess we can do it again. Really open that up. So, I have a little machine from Daiso that does the same kind of thing. It's, you know, $1.50 at Daiso. And that's why I was like, isn't this kind of the same thing? Okay, I can feel that that went through. <laughs> How funny. If I pop it like this, I can see that... Where is... Let's see. Pokey tool. There we go. But honestly, if you wanted to use it for sealing, I think it would seal too. 
There we go. So now we have this little pocket. What I'm going to do is push this down from the outside. Or actually pick it down like that and then pull that out. Whatever it takes to get that out. I was going to say, I try to make it a little bit smaller than three and a quarter. Actually, let's fold it in half. Ah, I opened my pocket. Okay, hold on. And I burned myself because now I'm freaking out. Okay. What I'm trying to say is if I put this back over here, this thing will actually seal again too. You know? Let's try it on that plastic. So there's that. So now we have a little pocket. Put things in. Good to go. Um, try not to burn yourself, guys. This thing is crazy. Okay, what I was going to do is this one. I thought maybe this will work with this, the straight edge one. Let's see. I don't really care what's going on here. I'm just going to bring it down like this and see if that works better because it doesn't matter, right? The other one, it wouldn't let it slide. But now that looks pretty good. Let's try the other side. So yeah, the other one is a sealer and it just, it's for snacks. <laughs> so the one from Daiso, sorry guys. It's like a little clamp like this and you just put batteries in it and you go across like that and it'll cut off the excess and seal the bag. And for them, like I said, it's for snacks because that's just what most people, I guess, would want it for, like to reseal your bag. But, um, interesting. Let's see. This thing is really hot, you guys. <laughs> I'll tell you right now. Um, I'm going to snip across here just so we can open this up because I might... I didn't mean to close it, but I just wanted to try it out and see what happened. And then we can also check this closure and see if it was closed even though it didn't do the dotting. So we snip that away. No, it's totally open on the dotting side, the one that we first used. Oh, it's open over here too. So, yeah, maybe it's just this cheap plastic. It doesn't quite work for us the way we would want it to. But like, so the Daiso one would. The Daiso one would. Just trying to see if anything... Yeah, no. Nope, no good. Okay, well, that's it for today, I think. I was going to make one other, um, like a little tag. But basically, it's the same thing I did over here. I was just going to use a little tag itself. Oh, you know what? Well, now that... Just keep an eye out for other videos. I was just trying this thing out right now. And it's okay. Again, Excuse me. So nice, of course, thick. you know, the thicker materials seem to work better. I'm sure we have be better pocket pages or if you're gonna go ahead and use like the we are memory keeper ones or the um, project life type or close to my heart i would just say practice quite a bit before you end up maybe possibly ruining one of those but honestly this took the best so i think it's probably harder to ruin that than this guy too bad i did this the wrong way you guys my goodness anyhow this is what we would use this for let me put this let me put this <laughs> devilishly hot thing to the side um I was just planning on putting this in here somewhere. Too bad. I totally turned that around. But just wherever you want. Like if it's going to slide under here. Ah. You can slide it under your whole book. I'm just going to put it in this guy. So when I opened it up, I had this cute little shaker. But you know what? It kind of wants to stick over here anyway. So that's okay. Look at that. <laughs> Cute little shaker and then here we have a little built-in pocket and go from there if i have to seal that i'll seal it again all right guys yeah we'll see um <laughs> thanks for watching and i'll have images coming up and i'll have the links in the description box and i'll see you guys at the next one bye now